Welcome to The Flower Collectors. This is an adventure game by Mipumi Games, where we're an ex-cop teaming up with a journalist to uncover some shady things happening in Barcelona, Spain in 1977. So let's go ahead and start a new game. Um, there's a continue here because I've played for just a few minutes to check and make sure everything is set correctly. Caught in the rope. Come on, Slowpoke. The wine. Woohoo! These waves are amazing. Wait up. I can't move. I can't. My legs are stuck in the ropes. My legs. My legs. I'm coming! Ah, thanks, kid. All right, whatever. Another letter from Ursula. We used to take the boat around Mar Balear. I'll leave it with the rest. First election since... Hell, I don't even know. Reminisce about our friend, our career, and our retirement. Maybe I could sell some of these. Can we turn on the lights? It's awfully gloomy in here. Doesn't seem like it. So far, nobody has figured out what this is. Nineteen seventy four. Join the Special Investigations Unit with Diego. Diego and I, just after joining the Policia Armada. Those were the days. I know nothing about them, but already my headcanon is that they're gay. And I know that we were a cop, since we're an ex-cop. And I don't like that, but we're an ex-cop now, so you know what? Maybe we're... Maybe we're better now. Maybe we've recovered. <laughs> Where did I misplace that power cord? A storm is coming in a few days. Should get Juanito to buy me some cava. Uh, needs watering. Can I water it? Doesn't seem like it.
Pills for the pain. Cigarettes for the boredom. It's dusty. For visitors. Ursula's books. She never came back for them. Got it for my service. <laughs> the wheelchair came as an unexpected bonus. What to do? Find something to pass the time. We could go outside. Yeah. See if anything's going on out here. No. Oh, look. Vincenzo went to his country house over summer. There's nothing to do outside. Should get my sketchbook first. Ooh, we're gonna be sketching? That sounds like fun. Used to draw for investigations, cases. Never thought I'd have to do it to kill time. Look for our binoculars. The gate to the Atlantic. Binoculars might be out here, actually. Ah, yeah. Right. Who are we gonna draw next? I'll figure out the controls. Draw a friendly scene, a private scene, an emotional scene, and a scene with contrasting characters. Oh, this sounds really cool. Maybe I should try planting tomatoes. Okay, so binoculars? I understand so. But they fiddled with the exhaust. Doña Ana, the neighborhood grandma. Trying to figure out what species they are. Is that a snakehead? spying on people. Give them some privacy. Is she looking at me? Is she? <laughs> Maybe. Nice suit. Don't often see the high society style in these neighborhoods. You definitely stand out around here. Guess that's the point. Oh, come on. Oh. Not gonna let that stop us. 
El Blanco. Carmen's handyman. He's always around when she's here. <laughs> Five years ago, I could have taken you out easily. What are you up to? Wait, you gave him money? He's just gonna waste it on alcohol. That's always what happens. Still haven't pieced your life together, eh? Wonder why the Polythea leave you be. It's a mess down there. Get a job! No, I don't think they recovered from being a cop. What are you two arguing about? You're wasting your time, Padre. Some people don't want to be helped. What's going on here? Somebody's coming on strong. Lola. Singer at the cabaret. Bunch of weirdos. Although, with a voice like yours, I wonder why you stay in a dump like that. Madam Carmen, queen of the weirdos. Why are you crying? Didn't go too well with that gentleman, huh? What did the two of you talk about? I'd look around some more. Go back inside when done watching. Long time since I talked to you, Padre. Confessions become a waste. But what I even say? Not like I have a lot of things going on here. Getting a bit wet. Yeah, let's go inside. Should put them. Oops, didn't mean to skip that. I want to close the door, but I'm not sure if I can. I guess not. Got some interesting ones today. Ah. Move the clues. So I'm just like matching these up. Private, friendly, emotional, confrontation. Well, this looks like a confrontation. The priest and beggar argued over something. Friendly scene. Uh, these two weren't friendly. That's another argument. Always watching. It's not really friendly. Crying is definitely a private scene. Carmen cried after meeting the stranger. Oh, it doesn't let me put it there. Emotional scene, yeah, if it's that too. Lola talked with the stranger. Always watching. Yeah, that'd be private. And just a friendly scene. Gave the beggar some spare change. Why is doing nothing feels so exhausting? Damn painkillers. The waves. Do something. Don't worry. I've got everything under control. I think we should have turned back sooner. I said don't worry. 
I know what I'm doing. Jorge, for the love of God, do something! I'm doing all I can. I've got it under control. Oh, we're sinking. The water, it's rising over your wheels. Your wheelchair is sinking. What? What are you talking about? Hey! What in the... What's that sound? We have a leak? Yep. No, no, not again. Uh, how am I ever gonna fix that leak? I better find something to catch the water. Gotta have a bucket around here. Don't think a wicker trash basket would work. Take the binoculars. Great. Another power outage. The power's out, okay. Everything's staying dark then. I have to do something about the water leaking in. I don't think this will be enough. Got some larger buckets on the balcony. This will do. A shot! He's down! I have to call for help. Emergency number. Hang on, no. I'll call the department. Let the help, folks. Over the CR Armada. What is it? Hola, this is Jorge. Is Diego in? Ah, Jorge. Uh, the goes out. What's up? Somebody's been shot right in front of my house. Tell me your address. Guerrero Landa, number 10. Uh, 10. All right. We'll set the car over right away. Stay where you are. Okay. Bye. What now? What do you want? Who are you? He... He's been shot. Who are you talking about? Didn't you hear it? Of course I did. But that doesn't explain what- Let me stay for a moment. At least until they're gone. Who? Who are you talking about? Shh. I can't hear anything. Whoever was following you has probably left. Now tell me, who are you? I... he... oh no... I... I'm... Hey! Are you okay? Shit, shit, shit! I don't know where to go from here. This wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, fine. Just focus. Breathe. We can look into it tomorrow. It's too dangerous to go outside right now anyway. Just try to rest for a bit. Yeah. Right. Okay. I'm just gonna... rest for a bit.
There's a rose on the ground. Hat, glasses, and a rose. get here anytime soon? Should get the Polythea to talk to her. Uh, I'll have to sort it out tomorrow. What a mess. be good for your back. Uh, I manage. Thanks for letting me stay here. Didn't have much of a choice. Well, no one else answered their door. Quite chaotic yesterday, huh? What the hell happened? I was about to meet this guy. The guy who got shot? What for? I... don't know his name. He reached out, said he had something for me. But you know how that ended. So you were down there to meet him? Who shot him? You don't seem the type. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. I didn't see the shooter, but I got a good view of the victim. Shady type, hat and coat. Nervous. Didn't even seem to notice the pouring rain. So? I have to take a look outside. You have a balcony, right? Yeah, the doors are open. Wow, what a puddle. Are you okay here? None of your business. So why would he contact you, out of all people? I work for El Diario, part-time. A journo? And for the one lefty rag at that. It's thanks to journalism from rags like mine that things are finally changing. The election is only a few days from now. Whatever he had, it must have been important. He's still there. The body? The body. It's still there. What are they doing? Can you grab my camera? I need to see this in more detail. <sighs> Photo is ray trigger. Okay. Let's take a look. They left the body fresh in the open. Look at him creeping in there. Seems almost unprofessional. Definitely not protocol. Yeah, why would they do that? Are they in on it? How would you know? Is this a, a message to scare people? Wait, are you a cop? Never seen a cop in a wheelchair. I'm retired. Well. Good for you. Better be in a wheelchair than a policia armada thug. You know, if they heard that, you'd be in a cell, the gutter, or worse. And there you have it. My point proven. Take a picture. Camera's loaded. Oh. 
place looks different from how it was before. Ah, I think it lights up when you're at like uh, something particularly important. Why are they leaving him out in the open? That's it. I'm going down there. You hold on to the camera for now. What do you mean, for now? I can't be seen with it. Too suspicious. Don't sweat it. I'll grab my stuff later. Take too long and I'll have you pay rent! There? Jesus, that was loud. <laughs> what the? Did she take one of my transmitters? Hey, pick up your transmitter. It's in that box. In your room. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. You took one of my transmitters. <laughs> Oh, please. It was just gathering dust anyway. Hey, I'm down here now. Can you see me? You can't just go snooping around a crime scene. I can be sneaky. Relax. They're not letting me get close. Of course they're not. But they will probably collect witness statements soon. Sounds like someone's decided to help. I'll keep an eye out and let you know when it's safe. But if they catch you, I don't know you. Wait for an opportunity to investigate. Alright, we got the two officers' pictures. Coast is clear. Now, go. Withholding information, tampering with evidence. Do you not care at all about what? Shut up. Are you trying to draw attention to me? It's him. I found the flower. Go on. He was gonna wear a red carnation for me to... Never mind. All right, I've seen enough. Listen, kid. I've thought about this. Yeah? Any words of wisdom? These people you're dealing with. Red flowers. El Diario. The terrorists are never more than a few steps away. Terrorists, huh? Guess that's what an ex-cop would say. What I'm getting at is that the Polythea won't protect you in this. Everything that's even close to the left is terrorism to them. You'll end up charged by association. Walk away while you can. Inspiring. But between the two of us, I haven't given up yet. Drop the attitude, kid. You're in over your head. So help me. 
Something is seriously wrong here. You said it yourself. This isn't following protocol. I don't know. Come on! As an ex-policia, aren't you the least bit concerned? Fine. Listen. First, we've got to look for witnesses. Find a lead. Now we're getting somewhere. So, who is that guy in front of the church? That's Padre Eusebio. Harmless. Harmless? They enforce their family traditions, turning women into obedient caretakers. It's all just another grab for power. He's not someone I can trust. Those things are changing, even within the church. You just have to be patient. Change doesn't come from patience. There are no officers down that end of the street. Go. doesn't know anything about the shooting. Claims he was asleep at the time. Makes sense. He also said they should have taken the body away by now. Yeah. Now, are, are we missing someone? Supposed to look for signs of witnesses, and did the priest see anything? So I guess we're not finished with the priest just yet. I don't need to take a picture of them, and I don't think it actually saves it if it isn't red and considered a clue, but still, feels appropriate. I mean, granted, creepy to take a picture of somebody with other consent. Oh, this is what I've been missing. The empty bench. Look at that mess. I wonder... You say we don't know where he's gone. Talk to the priest again. Hey, 
I saw Eusebio talking to that bum who lives near the archway yesterday. Seems to keep an eye on him. Okay. Try asking him if he knows what that bum was doing yesterday evening. So, odd thing. He seemed to recall seeing Aldo lie down out there yesterday evening. Who's Aldo? The homeless guy. Try to keep up. Anyway, when I pressed him for it, he clammed up and didn't want to talk anymore. Almost seemed to regret mentioning Aldo in the first place. Odd indeed. I'll keep an eye out for the bum. Maybe he knows something. I'll go into the cafe and see whether I can find out something there. Yeah. Maybe you can overhear some conversations. Just tell me if you spot something. Observe the cafe for three minutes. There she is. <laughs> Nothing to do all day, huh? Who are you talking about? Lola, the, the singer from the cabaret. Works most nights. Maybe she saw something. I'll go talk to her. Now is a good time to ask Lola about the previous night. On my way. She said she was at home, but didn't see anything. You can't trust anyone down there. Is there anyone in this world you actually like? Why would I like artists who push their own political agenda? They all do. Everything is political. Look around you. Life is. Well, it didn't used to be. Because all art that wasn't pro-government used to be repressed. Thanks for reminding me. He left a paper on the seat. I don't know if that's significant. Hey. Did she just pick something up? I should take a photo for later. What are you up to? Oh, that was a drop if I ever saw one. Listen, I think there's something fishy with that newspaper at the cafe table. Are you serious? I'm hunting a shooter and you asked me to get the papers? I think the singer just took something from it. Fine, I'll take a look. The paper is from last week, man. Ha, <laughs> told you so. We use old Sunday papers to get updates from our informants. I mean, we used to. Huh. What do you think was in it? Probably a message of some kind. Interesting. We should keep an eye on her in the future. Expecting more things to happen, not have two minutes of nothing. I feel like we're done with the cafe for now. Yeah. Nobody left to talk to. We should take a look at the cabaret. I've got an idea. See the big man at the cabaret entrance? What about him? He looks... cautious. El Blanco is their bouncer. He won't let you through. 
But Carmen sometimes comes down to check on him. You could listen in if you're quick. There's some trigger that I need to hit. When am I supposed to take a picture of them? Carmen is over on her roof terrace having a smoke. Oh, that's Carmen? Oh, I thought they were the cabaret singer that we'd seen before. Who's she? Runs the cabaret. Bunch of leftists, shady folks, weirdos. Mm-hmm. Basically anyone the nationalists would consider unwanted. I hope they become a more likable character by the end, but hey, even if they don't, at least we have the journalist who's a really interesting character. I really like them. I see. Probably means she hasn't seen anything either. Agreed. She wouldn't tell you. She makes sure to stay out of things like this, to keep her people safe. Looks like they're coming down. Oh, yeah. just went down to talk to El Blanco. Try to get behind the van. They're talking about giving up Lola. What could that mean? Without other proof, it might as well mean they're hiring a new singer. Sure, but it seems more serious than that. Mm -hmm. Anything. Oops, didn't mean to skip that. Oh, they've lowered their voices. Don't risk getting closer. like an argument. Are you getting any of this? I think it's about money. So much for communism. When it's about paychecks, everyone's the same. I don't know what, but you're definitely projecting something. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I think it's more
more about the cabaret's finances. Ooh. Why'd you close the curtains? Our pretty singer just ducked to hide from the Polythea. I'm starting to get really interested in her. I'm going up to talk to her. Not with that brute guarding the door. She's probably getting ready for work anyway. Nothing happening at the cabaret. Oh, this investigation isn't going anywhere. You've only just started. These things take time. I don't have time. I need to find out what the mole was going to tell me before all leads disappear. The mole? Yeah, it was the code name the victim used when he contacted me. Interview the old lady across the street. Just for the record, don't worry. You are not a suspect. Yet. There's an elderly lady in the building on the other side of the street. What about her? Is she an anarchist as well? She's always up there. If anyone saw something, it'll be her. Which apartment's hers? Just look for the buzzer with the name Anna. Tell her Jorge sent you. She'll love that. Hey man, I'm at your lady friend's place. She's not my lady friend. She says she wants to talk to you. And I kid you not, she has her own transmitter. I gave her our frequency. She'll connect in a moment. Um, wait. A are you serious? Jorge. Jorge, is that you? Uh, <clears throat> hola, Senora Ana. It's been too long. So, uh... I have a few questions. Jorge, how have you been? Are you holding up all right over there? You never go to bed on time. Not since the accident. I talked to Sebio. He says you stopped coming down for a confession. Yeah, listen. I know it's been a while, but I was hoping that maybe we... You know we had an electric elevator installed here? You should talk to that landlord of yours to get one too. Would do you good. Not loaf around up there all day. Signora Anna, please. I need to ask you if you could- Your friend told me already. About the shooting. What a mess, eh? The policia only guards what's important to the regime, as always. Anyway, I didn't see nothing. I see. Thank you for your help, Signora. But I bet Aldo did. He was down there last night. Ran like the wind. You mean you saw the bomb? Are you sure? I'm old, but neither blind nor stupid. Go ask him. I know what I saw. Thank you, Senora. If there's- Hey man, we have a real lead. I'm gonna go down, just a moment. <sighs> Let me finish a sentence for once. So, the homeless man, where is he? He hasn't returned yet. I'll let you know if I spot him. Those mechanics. Wouldn't hurt to take some photos. Ever busy, that one.
There's another place you can try. <laughs> Their portraits are so cute. These two girls, they recently moved into the garage in the square. Grown women aren't girls, Jorge. Do you mean the mechanics? Uh, yes. I, I don't know them. It's a long shot, but I think their lights were on last night. I'm heading over now. Did you talk to both of them? Luisa and Marietta. They're Italian. Moved here recently. They're definitely lesbians. Seems like a couple of parts for one of the scooters have gone missing. Do you think it's related? I doubt it. The sisters think it's just some kids playing around. Okay. So nothing for us there. No. Said they were shocked when they opened up this morning. Not every day there's a corpse lying on your doorstep. Uh, I think we should keep a lookout for those missing parts. Louisa works at the garage with her sister, Louisa and Marietta. Ah, oh, dang it, I was hoping that they were two lesbians in love. Ah, oh, well. What a waste of time. Maybe. But if they know something, getting on their good side could prove useful. Find and return parts. So we're looking for scooter parts. Where where would we see them? Just in somebody's yard? Scrap. What scrap? Oh, on the manhole. I think there's a part behind the car by the cabaret. Uh-huh. There's one. There's a Fusa seat lying here. Okay. Uh, grab it, I guess. Something in the church garden. You're not sending me around randomly, are you? No. There's a handlebar here. Good spot. Hey, I'm gonna return those scooter parts to the mechanics. Tell me when the coast is clear. Are you afraid of getting arrested for carrying scrap parts? I'm afraid of making a permanent impression with the policia and leading them straight up to your place. Point taken. I'll check. Yeah, seems clear. Nobody's watching right now. You can bring them the parts. Okay, about time. This stuff is heavy.
like that a little sisterly dance routine for a second. Remind me again, why am I doing this? <laughs> You're trying to save the world one part at a time? <laughs> Very funny. Enough distractions for now. We should have another look at the neighborhood. Okay. I'll look around a bit again. There's Aldo. Look who's decided to come back. Your friend, Arno, is here. You mean Aldo? Right. Well, where is he? His usual place by the archway. Well, that didn't really go down the way I expected it to. Why? What did he say? Nothing. For now, at least. Did it seem like he was scared or something? Yeah. Said the policia had been giving him a hard time lately. He wants to meet me in the church garden, after sundown. Guess you have to play along. I took notes of your findings. Let's go through them. Be there in a moment. Okay, so what now, Mr. Eye in the Sky? Their character design is really cute. See that chart? It opens. I'll pin my drawings to it. You put up the photographs. Okay, I've marked the main parts of the story. The story? I told you I'm working on this piece. We need to recreate the order of events. I've saved some space in the middle. Just put the clues in order there. Okay. Who was the journalist supposed to meet? It was... You. I was supposed to meet a guy. Called himself the Mole. And why were you meeting him? He contacted me, said he had something that would help my career as a journalist. Next, what actually happened? Oh, there's a crime scene. Would that be it? I think so. Someone got shot right outside my apartment. Yeah. The question is, why? How did we identify the victim? There was the rose. He was wearing a red carnation like we agreed. Oh, sorry, red carnation? Right. Were there any witnesses? Yes. Doña Ana saw Aldo from her window. She said he fled the scene. I wonder what he knows. Where was Aldo the homeless man? Hmm. Afraid to talk. I mean, that's not where they were. The bench. Aldo stayed at the bench last night. He must have been close by when the murder happened. Now that we've established the timeline of the crime, we can start looking for suspects. Good start. I'll put that away. Can't have it out in the open in case someone comes by. 
Name's Melinda, by the way. I was wondering what their name was in the subtitles. It just called them girl. Jorge. Melinda's cute. Yeah, you told me when I visited Anna, remember? Their mouth is also not moving anymore, which is creepy. Let's hang around till sundown. Aldo better have some good info. 